Okay, this is Sprocket of uh, Two Track Music, just giving you a bit quick intro into uh, how to use FLAC, the uh, lossless compression program. Okay, first of all, you need to be able to download FLAC from uh, the internet. Best way to find that is to open up your favourite browser, type in FLAC, enter, and generally the first one that comes up in the Google list is flac.sourceforge.net and that is the link that you go to. Tells you a little bit about it. It's a free lossless audio co codec and it means that the audio is compressed without any loss in quality and you can read a bit more about it there. But if you're anything like me, you're not too much into reading, you just want to get things done. So we'll head straight to the download section and in the download section, as you can see, there's uh, support for many different types of operating systems, uh, including some Amiga and other uh, obscure uh, operating systems. Um, for this demo, we're just going to be sticking with the uh, uh, Windows installer. Now, I've already downloaded this just to save a little bit of time. And I'll just minimize this. Okay, so there's the current uh, FLAC install file for Windows, um, current as of the uh, recording of this video. Now you'll notice that there's another file here called library files. Uh, what you need in order for FLAC to I install is a version of uh, Visual Basic Runtime files. And uh, in my particular installation I didn't have it. The only way I could get it running was by uh, installing another set of files which had a whole heap of these uh, Visual Basic files uh, compacted into it. So in order to do that, if I just open up another window, the error message that you get is that a file called msconctl.ocx is missing. And the link you're looking for is the one that's got the misspelt missing in it that's uh, hyperlinked to a site called Ascentive.com. You click on that hyperlink and right here is the package that contains the one that we need along with a whole pile of others. Just a quick word, this will install a uh, uh, a, a URL or a, a hyperlink if you like to uh, test your computer speed online once it's finished installing go to your desktop have a look where that thing is and then just delete it because uh, I'm never too fond of those things I always think they lead to a little bit of malware so I just uh, tend to ignore them as soon as they install themselves anyway for the rest of it it installs the library files that flat needs to uh, to install so I'll shut this down now. I've already run this file here. I've installed all of my library files. And now I'm going to install FLAC front end. Front end tester. And also all of the files you need to do the actual conversion because this is a command line uh, program after all. Or well, for those that aren't sure of what command line means, it looks like DOS. If the word DOS scares you, this is the best way to go. So now you can see FLAC front end has been installed. Let's see what happens when we open it up. Okay, it's quite an easy, uh, easy, uh, simple looking interface. Now I'm not going to play around with anything here, I'm just going to show you how to do a straight conversion from a WAV file, which is something that you might have exported from, let's say, a, a CD that you might have ripped. Or in, in the case or for the purposes of this demonstration, if you've got a, an audio workstation on your computer which can't export into a flat format. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to add a file which is something that I've exported from a workstation. 
and then simply press encode. Before I do that, I've got an option down here to determine which directory I want it into. I'm just quite happy leaving it in the in the same folder. I know where it is then. Just click encode. Dots box opens up. So you can see the ratio is approximately two thirds of the size that it was originally. And I had all of the options in there to uh, to add things like uh, tags, which you can see from here. Uh, what which album it belongs to, what year it was, what track number, what genre it is, all that sort of stuff you can add in there if you like. And a whole heap of other interesting information if you really want to know about it. And then just press any key to continue. So basically that quits out of the batch file. And let's see if we're done. So that's my computer. Shared documents, shared music. And there we have it there. So there's the original file and there's the flat file. Now I've got uh, Media Monkey. Uh, which is also a, a file conversion uh, software uh, and also audio player. You can use that to convert FLAC if you like, but for some people it might be a little bit over the top, so uh, the FLAC front end that I've just showed you here is the way to go. Anyway, and I double click on this, Media Monkey opens up. And this is what's playing at the moment. So as you can see, FLAC's quite a, an easy program to use once uh, somebody's shown you how to do it. Thanks for your time. Hope you've uh, learnt something from it.